Breaking news update. Pine Bluff police investigating a triple shooting this evening that left two people dead. One victim died at the scene. The other died on the operating table. Fox 16's Price McKeon in Pine Bluff this evening gathering as much information she can on this investigation. Price. Kevin, just in the last few minutes, we've been watching as it looks like the coroner's office is starting to wrap up their work for tonight. But one of those 17 year old boys, his body will be resting inside the coroner's office just behind me as it waits to go to the state crime lab tomorrow morning. Detectives tonight will continue to work through the night trying to figure out exactly what happened today as families and friends grieve in this community. As Pine Bluff police investigated the scene near 25th Avenue and 1st Street, the crowds grew. Police say just after 3.30 this afternoon, officers got a call of shots fired in that area. Soon after, two people showed up at a local hospital with gunshot wounds. So officers went back to that neighborhood where they then found a 17-year-old boy shot and killed inside a car in a ditch. Lieutenant David DeFore says the three shootings appear to be somehow connected, but the how isn't clear just yet. Uh, we're looking for anybody else who may have been in the car with the deceased guy. Uh, the, the, the detectives on the scene told me it looked like there were more people inside the car. They were trying to find who was inside that vehicle. And that's exactly what detectives are working on tonight. Now, we've also learned from police one of those two people at the hospital, another 17 year old boy, died during surgery. Police say the other person suffered minor injuries. Police say at this point they believe that two groups of people may have been shooting at each other, but they still are trying to figure out exactly what may have led up to this shooting. Those victims' names, police say they will not release because they're juveniles. Reporting live in Pine Bluff, Price McKeon, back to you. What about witnesses, and do we know if there's a connection between these three individuals? We don't exactly know yet. That is something that police are keeping very quiet as they try to make sure that all the families are notified and they try to track down possible witnesses. Now, again, the police did say there may have been more people inside that car that they found in the ditch where that 17 year old boy was found shot and killed. So, Hopefully, they are getting some answers from those possible witnesses. Yeah. All right, Price. Just a sad situation all the way around. Appreciate it. Thanks.